Hello everyone. We will continue the topic text table and in the previous video we created with our primary key table. Now in this video we will create the text table then we will assign the relationship between both the tables. So what I will do I will go to SC11 transaction code and I will create a text table now. Now, but typically SAP is following the practices to create a text table, but SAP is following the naming conventions to create a text table. And I'm using the word typically. Typically means maximum time SAP is using this practice. So whatever is the name of your text, whatever is the name of your primary key table, SAP always put T at the last. So it will always, always be understandable that this is text table for this particular table. So I will go for same to same naming conventions, which SAP is following. And I'm using the word typically. Typically means maximum time SAP follows this practice. I will go for create. I will give the short description. Suppose I will write item details and I will write this as text table. Now I will choose same to same delivery class C. With that delivery class C means it is customizing and data will be maintained by the customer. Now I will choose that is choose the option display maintenance allowed because yes, we or customer will maintain that data through SM30 transaction code. I will go to fields. Now we all know in every table, the first column which we are always taking is MANDT. And MANDT is the client number of SAP system. And for MANDT, the data element is MANDT itself. Now, when we started with the concept of text table, the first most important thing we discussed that text table has all the columns of has all the primary keys of primary key table plus it has the additional language field. So firstly we will take the additional language field. Now for language we have not created any domain and data elements. So we will simply use the SAP domain and data elements. So what you can do, I will simply go to MAKT table and I will check from there itself. You can check in any table, yes, which has the language field you can take from there. So I will simply take this field what is the name of the field? Spras. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Now I will use SAP data element itself. If you see this data element, yes, I want to save. I will save as a local object. This data element has a domain of lang1. So in this text table, now we have the additional language field. Now this table has the key fields of our primary key table. So what is the key field of your primary key table? This is item ID. So it needs to be there. So it is obviously understood. Yes, if you will not take item ID into this table, how you will maintain the text of that item ID into multiple languages. And this is the definition of text table itself. Text table has all the keys of the primary table, plus it has the additional language field. So I will simply write item ID and I will go for data element of item ID. This is the data element of item ID. 
Now I will take that description. Suppose the name of the column item DSC. Now we already created the data element for item description. I will pass. And you can see character 40 automatically appeared. Now, if you see the structure of the text table, language is there, item is there, item description is there. Now we need to decide the primary key into this table. What will be the primary key into this table? Especially freshers do lots of mistake here. Your data decides based upon data. You can visualize how many primary keys you need to take. Suppose if I will only take language as the primary key. If I will only take language as the primary key, how I can store the duplicate records of a language then? It means I cannot put English language again, but I want to store English. I want to go for English duplicate. English 1, English 2, English 3. Yes, I need to go. It means along with this language, I require one more primary key. Suppose now I'm taking item ID also as primary key. If I will take these two as the primary key, you can see unique combination. You can see unique combination. You can see unique combination. Unique combination, unique combination. It means these two will act as a primary key of the table. Now people are saying, can we take this item number only as the primary key? See, if you will take only item ID as a primary key, how you can store duplicate records of a item ID? One I require in English, one I require in German also, one I require in Japanese also. So these two will act as a composite key. These two will act as a primary key of the table. So I will take these two as the primary key. And we all know M and DT we are taking as a part of primary key. Now I will go to technical settings. I will say. Now this pop-up is coming. It is saying table is language dependent. Yes, we are going for language dependent table. As I have the latest system, this pop-up is coming. It might not come in your system. I will go for OK. Now I will choose that data class AWPL2 only because it is for customizing. Now I will choose the size category as zero because we are going for very less number of records. I will save. Now I will go to back button and now I will activate that text table. And you can see my text table is active. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we created the text table. And we all know in every text table, we have the fields of the primary table. We have the key fields. I'm specifically using the word key fields of the primary table. If this primary key table has other columns and those are not the primary key, then we will not take into text table. Here we have item ID is the primary key and we took it to text table also. If this table has other columns and those are not the primary key, I will not take into text table. Yes. Now in the text table, we have the key fields of the primary key table. Plus, it has the additional language field. I took a column for item description. And the most, most important thing, how to decide the primary key of this text table. We saw the data and based upon data, we decided that there must be two primary keys into that table. We maintain the technical setting. We pass the data class and size category and we activated the item and we activated the text table. So now we have two tables, 
primary key table, text table. But there is no relationship between both of them. How system understand that this is a text table for this particular primary key table. This part we will do in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.